I just think, you know, basketball is it's a language. You gotta get on the same page with your counterparts. And I think, you know, me and C square like the players turn away and it's fast and up tempo. And so I'm gonna always align, you know, based on how she's playing and how the game is going. And I don't know, I'm just gonna take it in stride because I, I enjoy it. So I'm with it. <laughs> Yeah, I think we've gotten a lot better just like understanding each other as, as we're playing the game, um, looking for each other when each other's hot, like Kels got hot there, uh, made a few in a row. Um, so you're just looking to find her. I think in transition, especially the way she runs the floor with her speed, I've always got my eyes up trying to look to find her. And I think she can tell like when I want her to go back door, when I want her to come cut off the ball or anything like that. And just that chemistry that you get used to playing with one another, it's taking time, but I think we're really starting to get down. Kelsey, what do you think it took for you guys to respond to that third quarter physicality and run from them and still come out well, and tackle them? <laughs> yeah, get a little gritty and dirty, obviously. Um, sometimes, you know, passion, having passion for the game, you know, some some moments can just, you know, spike your team up to, you know, go and play well and, you know, I had a moment myself with T Cloud and, you know, ass off to her for being a competitor, but I think it kind of helped us, you know, the grit and the game in those third quarters and when teams make runs, it's how you win the game in the WJ. You gotta be greedy. You gotta be able to get trenchy a little bit. <laughs> go Christine, then we go James. For both of you, Caitlin, when you were here before the game, you talked about your itching to get back into it. Is that what itching looks like that first quarter? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun. I think we came out with a lot of energy. It's just, you know, continuing to find a way to sustain that. But at the same time, like, they're a really good team. You know, they're not gonna go away. It's just, Finding ways to, you know, limit that. I think we let them go on a run, but then we respond and they go on another run, but we got to limit their runs. I think that's where we take our next step. And, um, but I'm really proud of us. I thought, you know, there would be times throughout the year where we kind of crumble when we gave up a huge lead. What was our biggest lead? 28. 28. Yeah. And it got down to one, I think. So, um, yeah, I think there's times where we would have crumbled, but we just kept battling and fighting. And I thought it was a really good win for us. Go James and Alexa. Caitlin, for you, how much better do you think you are like directing traffic at this point mm -hmm. from the start of the season to this point in the season where you're just kind of, kind of doing, doing it all throughout the game? Yeah, I think you just, when I can get going early, that's when I really settle into the game and feel comfortable. And um, I think my third, my third quarter wasn't great, but um, kind of found a way to respond, especially there then. The way we closed the third quarter, I think was super important going into the fourth. I think we went on a, we went on a little run there. I made a, we were lucky enough, we got a two for one quick and I made a basket and then we came down and got a stop and then Lou made the three. And I think that just kind of, you know, gave us some fire going into the into the fourth and we played really good. But um, I think just getting to know my teammates and, you know, playing with them, it's just a comfortability. Like it was going to take me a little bit of time to get used to. Like it was hard to adjust. And, you know, once I've, I kind of found my groove so far, it's, we, I think we've just been getting better and better. And then what's the balance of playing off the crowd but also staying within yourself in the moment? Because you did it probably like six or seven times tonight. Yeah, I feel like I have good experience with that. I think, you know, that's something I love to do. But at the same time, like, you got to use it, use it to help you. It can't be like a distraction. It can't be something that takes you out of your game. It's just like, let the fans help you. And they're here. They're being loud for us. They're, I thought they were incredible tonight. Um, they thought they were really loud. They were into the game. And, you know, you gotta, you got to be able to win the ones on your home court, and they certainly help us.